Hello, I'm Pete McLean, the principal developer of Upstart. Please join me for a couple of minutes and I'll give you an overview of the product. Upstart is a program for doing lots of clever and useful things with PSTs. When you start it, it shows you a list of PSTs on your system. Um, by default, it shows you the PSTs in the default PST directory. That is the directory where Outlook puts PSTs by default. You can see uh, about 10 listed here from my directory. For each one, it gives you the name. And if you hover over the name, it will pop up the entire path of the file. It shows you the type. That is ANSI or Unicode. It shows you the size, the date it was created, and the date it was last modified. And if you hover over one of those dates, it will pop up the time as well. Now you can ask Upstart to find PSTs all over the place. Uh, if you click this button, uh, one option is to type in the path for directory. It can be a, a, a network drive as well as a local one or browse. And then it will display all the PSTs it finds in that directory. And if you click this checkbox, then it will search all subdirectories for PSTs as well. With this option, you can have it look uh, through all drives on your system, any and all. For instance, I can select C and D here, start, and there it's busy scouring both drives for PSTs. I'll stop that since it does take a while to uh, go through all of them. There uh, it's displaying a few that it's found. Another option, uh, instead of finding PSTs according to where they live, it can find all PSTs that are configured into Outlook profiles. So there we have uh, a different list, um, and so you can see all the PSTs that are in use. Now, down here we have um, a bunch of operation buttons. The first one is the conversion button. The original purpose of Upstart was to convert PSTs from the older and rather restricted ANSI format to Unicode. So if you have any of those older PSTs hanging around, you can bring them into uh, Upstart and make nice new Unicode PSTs out of them. The next uh, option is to merge PSTs. You can select any number of PSTs from the list and Upstart will merge them together, either into a new PST or into an existing one. And there are lots of options uh, for um, doing that. Uh, you can check the dedupe option so that all uh, duplicates will be removed. That's handy if you have, say, overlapping archives that you want to combine. Uh, also, while by default, PSTs are merged at their roots, meaning, for example, that the, the inbox of every PST that's merged uh, go together into a, a merged inbox. Uh, instead, uh, you can merge each PST into a folder tree of its own by specifying a root folder for each. Then you can have, say, several people's uh, PSTs merged into a single file, but each person's material kept separately in a different tree. You can split PSTs, and the options are to split by size, by date, or more specifically by calendar year, calendar quarter, or month. And the last option is to split by message class, so you can uh, separate emails, contacts, appointments, and so on. I'm not going to go into all the details of these specific operations in this video, but I'm intending to make some uh, separate videos that one for each operation that we'll go into more detail.
The last thing on this list is the properties button and when you click that it shows you more information about uh, a PST you've selected. For instance it shows you the number of folders in the PST and the total number of items. It also shows you a list of the profiles into which that PST is configured. Uh, another little option up here allows you to export a list of PSTs. Uh, that's handy for um, plugging PST paths into batch and script files and you can also um, make a comma separated variables list of PSTs for importing into Microsoft Excel. There's uh, an online uh, help of manual of course and as it goes about its work Upstart writes a log file which you can view at any time and there are a um, couple of other uh, handy things for instance um, you can select two levels of logging standard and verbose we're always adding more and better features to the program uh, an important thing to note is that what I've shown you here is just what we call GUI upstart. That is GUI upstart in the form of a conventional Windows program with a Windows interface like this. When you buy upstart, you also get what we call console upstart, which is a console version of the program that does all of the same things, but is run from the command line. And while most people will prefer the GUI version, the console version is prized by sysadmins and other people who want to automate um, Upstart in various ways. So I hope that's given you a good overview. I'm going to stop now and uh, please give Upstart a try. Thank you.